blocked there have been barricading done by the mumbai police outside the azad maidan mega right absolutely we're getting to know right now information pouring in that the that eknath shinde has made an announcement stating that he will announce whether he wants to be part of the cabinet or not this is going to happen this evening at 7 pm when the meeting takes place of the mahayuti leaders meanwhile devendra fadnavis has stated that eknath shinde in his capacity as the president of shiv sena and the head of shiv sena's legislative legislature party has been given a letter recommending his name for the post of chief minister of maharashtra along with this uh, the nationalist congress party president and legislature party leader ajit pawar has also been given a similar letter independent mlas who are with the bjp have all submitted a letter to the governor as well so there are uh, besides the seats that have been won by mahayuti there are a number of independent mlas who have won the elections have also come out in support of mahayuti they are also going to be part of government formation absolutely mega if we see majority of the independent mlas have supported the mahayuti uh, therefore it is uh, the mahayuti has a clear mandate if we see when the results were declared on the next day itself there were three to four independent mlas ravi rana being one of those uh, mlas uh, also met uh, devendra fadnavis today when devendra fadnavis was appointed as a group leader uh, speaking exclusively to news x uh, ravi rana said that we wanted devendra fadnavis to be the chief, chief minister of maharashtra so yes a uh, majority of the independent mlas have given their support to the mahayuti led bjp led mahayuti government in maharashtra and if we see uh, to, uh, as you spoke earlier about eknath shinde so today evening eknath shinde will be making an announcement whether he will be uh, taking up the deputy chief minister's post because uh, ajit pawar when he spoke to the media short while ago he said that i will be taking the oath as a deputy chief minister but eknath shinde will take his decision and will let us know in the evening so yes a big meeting is going to take place at the varsha bang in the evening at 7 pm as per sources whether eknath shinde will be part of the swearing in ceremony or no will be uh, decided later today in the evening mega right absolutely that that that, that there is likely to be to be a big twist in the maharashtra swearing in saga and the government formation especially when eknath shinde is uh, still seemingly showing hesitancy in whether he actually wants to be part of the cabinet whether he actually wants to accept the position of the deputy chief minister that has been offered to him by the mahayuti led by the bjp in our spara sources special invita- invites have been extended to the anganwadi workers women from various fields of maharashtra there is going to be an oath taking ceremony that takes place and all of them are invited meanwhile anand let's hear it from you about do you think there are still Uh, uh possibilities of friction between eknath shinde shiv sena and uh, bjp particularly with this ambiguity that is come colors that has now come to surface it has surfaced that uh, uh, there could be uh, uh, Ek- eknath shinde dilly dallying about whether he wants to accept the position of the deputy chief minister <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I have to talk about uh, Eknath Shinde. Uh, then uh, the way in which uh, he maintained silence for three days just after election results were announced, it raised the eyebrows of not only the opposition but also the, and the people of Maharashtra. Whether he will be taking the front lead in the state uh, to be the chief minister of the state, or uh, will he accept the position of the deputy chief minister? Then all eyebrows fit on him, and but he himself cleared the air when he said. that uh, he had spoken to the prime minister narendra modi and also to union home minister amit shah and he maintained that uh, whatever decisions will be taken by the central bjp leadership it will be acceptable to him and he wants to uh, the speed breaker for the development of maharashtra and similarly when he came to national capital when he had a meeting with uh, amit shah then there also the bjp made it in sense is very clear that the cm phase will be from the bjp as the bjp has got massive mandate in the state however eknath shinde his party maintained that it was eknath shinde on whose case the mahayuti alliance contested in this election however his demands his party's demands were not given through and the bjp gave the idea that it should be bjp chief minister and then also returning from delhi eknath shinde directly went to his native place he was there for two days and he did not meet any of the mahayuti alliance members uh, then ajit pawar was also here in the national capital 
after which yesterday only it was when the when fadnavis called up to uh, eknaf sinde and uh, even the meeting of all the three maha yuti leaders to decide on the cabinet portfolio was put on hold as eknaf sinde was not in, available in the uh, mumbai over there so clearly uh, eknaf sinde has tried to play the pressure politics in uh, maharashtra the way in which several of the havans were held in several temples uh, including Sidi Vinayak Temple there in Mumbai, and even several of the Ladki Bahan scheme beneficiaries came to Eknath Sindhi's residence, and they uh, tied him Rakhi kind of thing over there, and they said that they want to see Eknath Sindhi as the next Chief Minister. However, all these uh, pressure politics tactics of the Eknath Sindhi's uh, led Shiv Sena was you know, extremely out, and uh, the BJP came through all. With all the colors, when it got the eight lakh sindhi on board to uh, accept the BJP's proposal of uh, giving the chief ministerial post to uh, BJP leaders, and uh, then only today, when the senior observers of the BJP came over there, that was Nirmala Sitaraman and ex Gujarat CM Vijay Rupani, the announcement for Devendra Fadnavis as the CM face was made, and it was only then that the three Maha Yuti leaders today once again came together. Right. Now, uh, right. Absolutely. Very... Stay on with me, Anand. Mm-hmm. We are getting to know more information while addressing a press conference earlier today. The NCP chief Ajit Pawar has highlighted that the activities related to the party will be handled by BJP chief. Chandrasekhar Bhavan Kule and NCP's Sunil Tatkare. So, uh, Daryl, give us information about these two names that have emerged uh, uh, from the NCP uh, who are going to take charge of the situation. Mega, if you see both the leaders which are, whose names were announced, Chandrasekhar Bhavan Kule is the BJP state president of Maharashtra and Sunil Tatkare is a Lok Sabha MP and also the uh, Maharashtra president of the NCP Ajit Power faction. So these two leaders will be looking out uh, for all the activities which will be taking place. Previously, if we see uh, these two leaders along with the Shambhura Desa of Shusena Shinde faction were the main core leaders of the Mahayuti uh, who would uh, discuss about the meetings and all the activities which used to take place. Today, more important is that Ajit Power, while addressing a press conference has said that he will be taking the oath as a deputy chief minister and while asked about Ekna Chinde, he said that Ekna Chinde will uh, uh, disclo- uh, publicly disclose about it in the evening once the meeting is done. So, uh, will Ekna Chinde be part of the swearing-in ceremony tomorrow leaves a big question mark because Ekna Chinde has said that he will uh, inform about this after a meeting has been done and in the evening it is said that at 7 p.m. there will be a meeting at Varsha Bangalore where all the party leaders of his party will be meeting him and will be discussing. Uh, apart from that, uh, Vijay Rupani and Nirmala Sitaraman will also be meeting Ekna Chinde as per sources. Cabinet portfolio allocation discussions will be taking place among these top three leaders. So, yes. Ekna Chinde, whether he'll be part of the uh, swearing-in ceremony or whether there will be a twist again in the Maharashtra, we'll have to wait and watch, Mega. Why do you think there has been so much hesitation that has been witnessed from Ekna Chinde's side after the elections were won? Ekna Chinde's Shiv Sena has been able to garner a respectable number of seats. Uh, the second largest number of seats that a party won was Ekna Chinde's Shiv Sena. Do you think that could be a possibility that if Eknath Shinde decides to remove himself from Mahayuti and uh, uh, in, in, a, in an act of rebellion, uh, it could destabilize the government? Not absolutely, Mega. If we see at the uh, majority of the BJP, BJP has 132 MLAs. They have support from 3 to 4 MLAs. So the total tally comes down to almost... 136. They have support of NCP Ajit Power faction, which goes up to 176 to 180 MLAs. And the majority, the magic figure in Maharashtra Assembly is 144. So if we see, even if uh, Ekna Shinde moves out from the Mayuti, that won't impact the Mayuti. But Ekna Shinde won't move out of the Mayuti because if we see the whole of election, the Assembly, Maharashtra Assembly elections were fought under the leadership of Ekna Shinde. So yes. He won't move out, but yes, he will be making a decision whether to uh, take up the deputy chief minister's post today evening and he will be uh, disclosing about it today evening where he will be meeting his leaders and taking a discussion about it. Yes, so a big twist to take place in Maharashtra today evening. And right. Ekna Chinde, General, now what uh, happens if, is if, if hypothetically, if Ekna Chinde decides he is not going to take up, he is not going to accept the position of the deputy chief minister, what role is he going to see for himself in Maharashtra? Mahayuti government.
Megha, if you see, even if uh, Ekna Chinde moves out of the Mahayuti, that won't impact the Mahayuti. As I said earlier, they have the figure of almost 175 to 180 MLS with them. So, yes, I personally don't think so. Ekna Chinde will take this decision because it is only that he is not ready to take up the Deputy Chief Minister's post. Because if you see, he was insisting for the Home Ministry portfolio and the Assembly Speaker portfolio. But yes, all that, as I mentioned earlier, Vijay Rupani, Nirmala Sitaram, the two central observers, will meet him, they have a discussion about the cabinet portfolio. It is not that Ekna Shinde has said that I am moving out of the Mayuti. He has said that I will be making a decision later in the evening and I will be disclosing it officially. So yes, we'll just have to wait and watch what, discuss, what decision Ekna Shinde takes after which only it will be uh, out that what Ekna Shinde is up to. Whether he right. wants to be a part of the Mayuti or no, whether he'll be taking up the Deputy Chief Minister's post, we'll have to wait and watch. Right, Mayra. absolutely. Coming back to you, Anand, you think this is in all prob probability a tactic that is being utilized by Eknath Shinde to get his way, particularly in the portfolios that his, he's interested in. The way in which Eknath Shinde has played the pressure politics in Maharashtra, first it was for the chief ministerial phase, and then after that, uh, the demand from Eknath Shinde's camp was for the home department portfolio and also for the urban department. Uh, if we look at the the uh, past uh, uh, government uh, in Maharashtra, then Mahayuti, in Mahayuti, Siv Sena camp uh, had got the nine faces in the portfolio over there in Maharashtra out of the 33 portfolios. So clearly, the Eknath Sindhi camp is demanding for the night portfolios and also it was uh, pressurizing the BJP for the Department of Home and also for the Assembly Speaker in the Legislative Assembly over there. So clearly, this is part of the pressure politics that Eknath Sindhi is trying to uh, impose on the Mahayuti Alliance partners and especially the BJP because it has given uh, the reasoning that the way in which uh, when uh, Egnath Sunde himself was the chief minister then the home portfolio was with the BJP and that was with the Devendra Fadnavis. However, he then cited the same formula that why can't if uh, Fadnavis is going to be the chief minister then why can't the home portfolio come to no, okay, so okay all right, all right. Let's also let's also take a look at this another information that is coming our way as per uh, sources close to NewsX. Eknath Chinde has expressed his displeasure about now not getting home ministry. He is adamant on uh, getting that portfolio. Eknath Chinde is yet to confirm him taking up the deputy chief minister's position in the government. Darrell, again, you know this dilemma continues. Who is going to be the Second Deputy Chief Minister, is there going to be a second Deputy Chief Minister in Maharashtra is now the big question. Mega, once again, I would say there's a twist in the Maharashtra Assembly because if you see, uh, there was speculation since the past 10 days that who will be the Chief Minister and when the deadlock is broken, the suspense is broken that uh, uh, Devendra Fadnavis is going to be the Chief Minister. Now, the another suspense continues whether Ekna Shinde will take up the Deputy Chief Minister's post or not because Ekna Shinde has said that he will uh, 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 inform the media about it, about his decision later in the evening. He has not yet confirmed whether he will be part of the swearing-in ceremony as a deputy chief minister. On the other hand, Ajit Pawar has said that he will be uh, taking the uh, taking up the deputy CM uh, chief minister oath, oath tomorrow. But yes, talking about Ekna Chinde, we'll have to wait and watch for a few more hours what he is up to, whether he'll be taking up the deputy CM post or he will give some another name who will be a deputy chief minister in the cabinet or there will be only one CM and one DCM in Maharashtra, Mega. Okay. Okay, all right. On that note, I'm out of time. I thank all of you for joining me on the telecast. Thank you, Anand, and thank you, Daryl, who's in Mumbai right now. He's at Azad Maidan. Preparations in full swing for the mega celebration and, of course, the oath-taking ceremony. There is going to be the Prime Minister. There is going to be the Home Minister. We also have the Union Health Minister and the former BJP President. Alongside, there are going to be those 22 Chief Ministers of the BJP ruled states that are also going to be present for this big ceremony. So stay tuned on NewsX as we get you all the updates pertaining to the Maharashtra Chief Minister's oath-taking ceremony. Thanks for watching NewsX.